All right, you know I had to have an excuse to use that clip somewhere. I, I hit that like a couple months ago. I hopped on World War II for a game and just, I don't know, hit a quad. I I don't know. Anyway, what's up guys, it's Obey Morris, and we're back on some uh, World War II. Yeah, we got a good amount of stuff to talk about today. Uh, in regards to E3, to Call of Duty, a bunch of stuff. And I figured I'd do that while seeing how World War II was in 2021. I couldn't find any ground war at this time. As far as I know, ground war mosh pit is mainly just snipers now anyway. Uh, we're gonna try some war war. Operation Neptune! Oh, I'm going right up the devil's butthole. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, been there, done that. I like this game chat right now. Uh, this is, in fact, a ground war lobby. It's just 6v5 because it's 8 in the morning. Because it's 8 a.m. on a weekday. Uh, yeah, this is... I'm sorry. Uh, Operation Neptune is one of the worst maps in Call of Duty. Honestly, no matter what World War II in 2021 video you click on, one of the first things the person making that video is going to say is that World War II was a really bad game until about six months in, and then it got a complete overhaul, which is... A million percent true, they fucking absolutely tried reviving this game about halfway through its life cycle, but I mean, at that point, man, it's just too late. But yeah, this game looked like a beta for the first six months it was out, which is kind of the note that you're singing to with Call of Duty anyway. It doesn't matter who developed it, it's always super unfinished when the game first comes out. Cold War is a great example of that. They, they changed the kill feed halfway through Cold War. They changed it from the beta kill feed to the full game kill feed halfway through the game. With this game, they definitely they added like fucking 12 new snipers. There's, I think, 67 gun primary weapons in World War II. Uh, yeah, I want to get these SMG kills quick. If you're looking to play this game, uh, honestly, it's still pretty populated. But you have to play at the right times. Like, I'm playing at 8 a.m. on a Monday. 8.30 a.m. on a Monday. There's not going to be many lobbies around. Uh, because I feel like a lot of this game's demographic is probably people that work a normal, like, 9 to 5. Honestly, probably older Call of Duty fans. Because this is more of an old Call of Duty than Modern Warfare or Cold War. It's definitely way more than Cold War. Cold War is, uh... A little chalk. I mean, I, I know people in real life that don't want to fucking touch Cold War. They'd rather just keep playing Modern Warfare, go to Warzone, play World War II. Wait, what's, what's this? The Nambu. Oh, God. What the fuck is this? I've never seen this! Hold up. Hold on a second. Wait. I'm picking that shit up the TTK on that's fucking unbelievable. Holy shit I'm over here using this thing that takes literally five seconds to kill someone. What the fuck is the ruby rolls? The ruby rollies, <laughs> but like look uh, there's 20 SMGs. I'm gonna use the ruby rollies That ain't bad Yeah, I don't think people are really expecting much Call of Duty news with the whole E3 event because we just got the Season 4 stuff. I think they were pretty clear that we would get information later in the year. But I think there was indirect news with Call of Duty at E3. Uh, they basically announced Call of Duty was saved because Halo and Battlefield don't have Battle Royales coming. So uh, Warzone has a leg to stand on. Honestly, I'm kind of glad they don't have Battle Royales coming because I'm really excited for Halo Infinite and Battlefield just alone. I think a battle royale would kind of be too much for me personally, and that might be a little narcissistic. Might be a little selfish, like, oh, that'd be too much for me. But honestly, I want to play every single game coming out. I want to play Battlefield, Halo, uh, is it Elden Ring? I want to play Starfield, Bethesda's game. I don't know why they didn't announce uh, Elder Scrolls 6, um, because it's clearly a long-awaited game. It's been 12 years at this point. Ten? Uh, it's been 10 years since Skyrim came out. I'm really curious with how COD 2021 is going to look. I mean, it's on the Modern Warfare engine, which the game's going to feel really good. Especially, like, I don't know, man. I'm excited for a World War II era game with the Modern Warfare engine. Because, like, it's going to be familiar, but it's going to be fresh. You know what I mean? I'm a little, like, curious how it's going to look compared to all the other games that have been, like, shown at E3. I mean, shit. Starfield. The reveal trailer looks... Cr I mean, granted, reveal trailer, not gameplay. 
but still starfield looks crazy the battlefield 2042 honestly the pre-alpha gameplay from that gameplay reveal looked just baffling even the halo infinite reveal they had a multiplayer reveal which i'm pretty sure was gameplay what got me is it looks like an old halo it looks like halo 3 just with like new graphics with 2021 graphics like dude that put a smile on my face and hearing the announcer and stuff oh my god it feels like halo 4 and halo 5 were like straying from the halo from I don't know what made halo great what made halo class um and now it feels like halo infinite might be going back towards that direction i mean on only time will tell we'll only know once the game is out good oh fuck i know i was sitting up in the train i was being a little bitch but i don't care man i just want a nuke get out of here heartless oh they're all gonna be what that wasn't a grease gun <laughs> playing this game is definitely way more calming like i'm way more relaxed playing this it, it's just fun like maybe the lobbies are just free right now because it's literal like it's morning lobbies to you new uh, call of duty fans out there i'm so sorry you never got to experience them but morning lobbies were something else dude i'm really curious how the microtransactions are gonna work in halo infinite i really hope they don't like i mean the game is free to play which i'm really excited about but i hope that it's, it's not pay to win i hope it's not like a rose skin in warzone where it's not really pay to win but it's kind of pay to win all right we got this done we got three supply drops. I'm gonna open supply drops quick. The fuck? Wait, what the fuck is that? A camo? I've never seen that. Yep, we're doing the baseball bat. Okay, maybe we'll use something that shows it a little bit better. That kind of looks like there's just blood on it, which looks kind of sick, honestly. All right, yeah, that one shows a little bit way better. <laughs> we're gonna run around and bonk people with this. Uh, they're gonna spawn back in here. Bonk. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh my god, this game came out almost four years ago. Holy shit. I'm getting old. A curiosity. When do you guys consider someone an old gen Call of Duty player? Get his ass! Yes, sir! Ow! Oh shit! <laughs> Come here! That's called World War II in 2021. Not that populated at 9 a.m. on a Monday. The game is pretty good. It got a lot of shit because it had a garbage release. But Sledgehammer is a main developer in the next Call of Duty. So, I mean, I guess we can probably expect the same stuff. Uh, maybe, unless they somehow learned from this Call of Duty. Hey, I got another supply drop. Okay. If you'd like to see me play other games, let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time. Later.